plug in. It's day three, and what an interesting day. I've spent most of the day sleeping. In fact, I slept through a huge thunderstorm. There's a cold front that's come through. It must be like 50 degrees from, from 85. And, uh, but the big deal is I'm sleeping like crazy, which means there's some underlying deep-seated internal issue that's being repaired because you, you, you heal while you sleep. That's when it happens. So this is a very interesting day. As you can see, my energy's back. Um, as I said it would be. This push and pull of the pancreas, well, that's given up. It's also day three, which means with the pancreas not producing any insulin, I'm turning off the PKA enzyme, and that's the signal for my stem cells to start regenerating. It's also the signal for the fat cells to be uh, opened up to provide the glycerol and the free fatty acids to make ketones and glycerin, or, or blood glucose levels to keep your blood glucose levels up because you need to because you need brain and blood can't live without glucose that's the way they work um, but the most important part is when you cut up with the flat the fat cells they release a very special type of stem cells called a muse adipose tissue stem cell muse at cells and these are the ones that you do the dry fast for because when these get going, they start going through the bloodstream and differentiating into any type of cell you need of all three germ lines. They can be brain cells, heart cells, liver cells, foot cells, anything. Wherever you need it, they can immediately boot to do that. Now, you've also turned on your general stem cells, which are in all the different niches in the body, all the different organ niches, the stem cells are there. You've released those few new cells from those organ cells as well, but now your general stem cell system is now in a regeneration mode. And, you know, it goes into, into daughter cells and asymmetric and symmetric replication, transit amplifying to progenitor, and finally to differentiate into different body cells in that niche. So the, the different, different 220 different organ types are now being generated. These, the, the immediate release of mu cells in all these organs helps the, the body fix those cells real fast in case for some reason the fast is stopped. You see, and that's why I like the seven-day dry fast. It takes five days from daughter cell to a progenitor cell, but it takes that first day of releasing these, these mu cells where all these repairs start happening really rapidly up until the time when the other stem cells can become stem cells or, or body cells. The interesting thing about that is when they do, a lot of them aren't participating in tissue remodeling like the AT stem cells are, and, or the MUSE, MUSE AT stem cells or the MUSE cells are because they're there to be in place to start pumping out these really special paracrine signals that start influencing the surrounding cells that make them younger, that, that uh, improve their metabolic performance. So the third day is the big kickoff stage. I'm in ketosis, I'm dark purple on the ketone sticks, and I'm sleeping a lot. Now the last time I did this, I wasn't sleeping all that much. I was sleeping, but not crazy hours. I've been sleeping 80% of the day today. So obviously my body is using this to heal myself, and that's what's beautiful about, about dry fasting. Uh, fourth day tomorrow, more of the same for the most part. Um, I'll, I'll find out if I sleep as much, but I slept through an enormous thunderstorm, a huge pressure change that came through the, the area, and it's, you know, like I said, 50 degrees. So I doubt I'm going to be out here in my swimsuit catching the rays tomorrow, because there aren't any rays for one. But uh, this is the third day. It's a, I feel great. All my energy is back, and like I said, dry fasting is the best, and I will see you tomorrow.